Well, Team Clinton continues to insist information on her personal email server was not classified at the time it was sent. But some government agencies now say there should be no confusion. The information was always classified. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge is live in Washington. Catherine? Well, thank you, Leland. One of the cardinal rules is that only the agency that gets the information has the authority to declassify that information. And that's why the State Department and Mrs. Clinton and her team are in such deep trouble over these emails. Fox News confirming the email from aide Huma Abedin to Mrs. Clinton that kick-started the FBI probe contained classified information from three intelligence agencies, the DIA, the NSA, and the NGA, which oversees U.S. government spy satellites. All three agencies have confirmed the intelligence was classified when it was sent three years ago and remains classified to this day. But the State Department claimed the intelligence was unclassified, even though they didn't own it, and released the email, now simply stating there is a difference of opinion. What you're seeing now is a disagreement between agencies saying, you know what, they should have, and the other saying, no, they shouldn't. That has nothing to do with me. But under this executive order, 13526, signed by Mr. Obama in December 2009, only the three intelligence agencies who own that information in the first place have the authority to declassify it, not Mrs. Clinton and not the State Department, Leland. All right, so what's the State Department saying about this, Catherine? Are they challenging this mm -hmm. in some way? Well, these classification decisions are final and they are not open to negotiation. Though Fox News has learned that a senior State Department official, Patrick Kennedy, who is deeply involved in the Benghazi controversy, is running major interference on the emails. Two sources confirm that Under Secretary Kennedy went to Capitol Hill in early July and argued the Abedin email was not classified. And to make his case, Kennedy cited an Irish Times news report about the Libyan revolution to claim the information was already out there. Increasingly, the administration is punting on every email question, citing the sensitivity of the ongoing investigation. I'm obviously going to be uh, reluctant to um, have much to say about uh, ongoing investigations. Uh, and my understanding, though, is that most of those investigations are, viewed, are geared toward uh, the handling of that information uh, and are not targeting uh, Secretary Clinton. That statement appears to be misleading because Fox News is told one of the issues the FBI is considering in its investigation is whether Mrs. Clinton should have known, based on the detail in the emails, that she was handling classified information regardless of the markings on the documents, Leland. Yeah, something Michael Mukasey mm -hmm. talked about earlier on the show mm -hmm. with Martha. Catherine Harridge live in Washington. Stay on them. Thanks, Catherine. You're welcome.